and the majority of African farmers today face great challenges in their daily life. The challenges I face, one is I don't have access to better yielding, better yielding seeds. I don't have access to information on where I can get fertilizer if I need to get it, and the access to finance, which I, can, I need to plow my gardens, hire some people to weed, and do the harvesting. Productivity is low, so I cannot have enough food to feed my family as well as sell some to meet their other, other needs, like uh, taking them to schools, meeting their medical bills, and all such basics. Farming in Uganda tends to be dominated by small landholders. Declining soil fertility is one of the greatest problems affecting them. The patches of land gradually become less productive because of the intensive cultivation and soil depletion. Many of them live on depleted land that is prone to drought. Before I joined AFC, my situation was bad. I was having poor financial support. I was not able to buy fertilizer and I was not even able to acquire improved seeds. I was not able to access a loan. I had no idea about farming in time because I could not. Now the video you just watched, I just took a clip from it, was recorded about, was posted uh, by that channel about 10 years ago. But the things, the issues raised in it, there's a particular issue I'm going to highlight, I'm going to talk about for a few minutes, is something that remains a, a, a challenge even up till now for many farmers in Africa, even the big farmers much as this this video is about the small farmers in africa the smallholder farmers okay um it's the same problem the problem of you hear, you heard it mentioned several times oh i don't have fertilizer the soil due to the intensive cultivation of the soil the crops the the um, fertility of the soil was being depleted and i didn't have access to the fertilizer i couldn't get the fertilizer or i did not have money to buy the fertilizer and all of that it kept it's, it's just a recurring issue and you know for crop farmers Without a fertile soil, you, you cannot expect to get anything like decent yield. And think of all the labor that goes into it and then the waiting for you to then end up with poor yields. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. So you definitely want to be sure that when you are doing your planting, you are planting on a soil that's going to return, give you returns by way of yields, all right? That's going to be um, make it worth your while, all the money and time and effort you've put into cultivating the soil. So why do I, I want to talk about this issue of... Um, what's it called fertilizer making the soil fertile and all that there's a solution to it that actually costs little or no money today it's a reality for many farmers all over the world but for some strange reason many 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 of our farmers still do not actually use this solution so i want to talk about it uh, those of you who've been following me for a while you know i've been screaming about black tree fly farming i continue to tell people um one of the keys to success i see in our part of the world because of the nature of our societies is that you need to become try and build yourself up to become self-sufficient in accessing the things that are critical to the survival of your business whatever line of business you are in i'll give you myself as an example before i go back into farming look when i started out as an entrepreneur i wanted to be a public speaker delivering training solutions I got invitations to several places, including University of Lagos, Center for Management Development. You know, I did training for tantalizers, management trainees, and the hot headquarters. But the money I got for all these things, and the time it took me to even get invited to those places, made me made it clear to me that it wasn't a line of pursuit or a line of um, activity I wanted to pursue um, if I wanted to get profitability and be able to <laughs> fulfill my role as a provider in my, for my family. I had children I had a family so I started thinking that okay what can I do differently and I said I have some other skills it's time for me to mark me well I actually was marketing that other skill it was I wasn't thinking that uh, about using it as the main springboard on which to launch my business but I was forced to switch to that within the matter of about 12 months to one year uh, to, uh, 12 months to two years so basically I began to market my Excel visual basic programming skills and I was offering it as a person um provide to provide learning training all right then i was i began to think okay 
maybe i can offer to build applications for people it took me time to get to that point where i thought okay let me go because i was thinking more like people would hire me to teach them advanced excel programming and all that but now look at it this way i had to market myself so what was i doing i was going from place to place think about it i, I tried by using newspapers when i started i used newspapers <laughs> it was terrible i uh, placed adverts in the guardian in particular it was a disaster the two three occasions i tried it not even for example at that time it was more for my uh, my speaking and my writing services at that time okay i didn't know how to get attention for myself in a manner that was going to yield the results i wanted which is to win clients that would pay me well so over time i noticed that because i did not have certain things within my control for instance the means to promote my brand I needed to do advertising that was what i thought i needed to do then i move around doing marketing with flyers and all that i didn't get the results i wanted so i began to think deeper then i realized that getting somebody to build me web a website might be the key because i didn't know how to build websites so i had somebody I, I tried to hire somebody then i discovered the guy was trying to steal my intellectual property it wasn't just the only one even the people that proposed to partner with me a big company they tried to do that to me i was just lucky so i said okay it's clear that there are there are sharks in the in the in the waters of entrepreneurship in nigeria how do i protect myself and i still, still achieve my goal of getting publicity i started thinking I said, okay the more i have to reach out to people the less effective i seem to become so what if i learned how to do all these things that are critical to the survival and growth of my brand what if i learned to do those so that i can continue in a sustainable manner and then over time i can reach out to people but with at least some degree of an ability to protect myself and protect my brand from exploitation what if i give myself a foundation on which to ride that would enable me to kind of keep growing regardless of whether or not people choose to bond blend with me or come on board on my platform and all that so i began to learn how to build a website so by 2003 ending of 2003 i had used a set of magazines i got from my elder brother and i had learned how to build websites using photoshop macromedia flash and all it wasn't easy but i kept at it for a full month i was just building using all the cd tutorials and all that eventually i did the first website for my brother and then from there i began to go out into the world offering to build websites for people and with that i gained experience i was doing it free for some people out there was a guy peter Gudoro, who had it, a radio show I, I offered to build one i built one for his language for his um, his professional school then i you know i kept moving and eventually i got a client that paid me to do that and while that client was having me do that for him that's what building the website for him i i have a habit of you know you you, you have to talk yourself up you, you you use the opportunity of conversations with people to let people know that there's more to you so i did that and this guy caught on to the fact that i was good at spreadsheet programming and he asked okay what can that do and i told him what it was what was possible then he said what if you can do this for me i have this oil service company i there's a kind of a big manual that i need to convert into electronic version that can be queried and all that and i said oh i can do that with excel vb for you before i knew what was happening i got paid a hundred thousand hundred percent up front in line with my request and i built that thing within 10 days not 10 working days 10 days and from then i knew the sky was my limit i knew i just had to sit myself down and do proper marketing so i invested more energy into learning how to do web marketing and i've evolved that brand over that um, strategy over the years and develop what i call a web marketing system today which is what has brought me clients from different parts of the world what i'm trying to say is this i control therefore today the narrative about how my brand is perceived because i am my own web marketing um, generator i'm the one that does everything for myself so i'm in control of how my brand grows in terms of exposure to potential buyers it doesn't mean i can't place adverts okay but it means that at least i have a foundation on which to keep growing and as i nurture it it will enable me to keep selling and then of course it means it will keep me alive long enough for me to connect with people that might help my brand grow even bigger if and when i do meet them so back to the farm farm business owners what i'm trying to say in essence is this there are opportunities available today for a farm business owner to do the same thing in terms of growing his business if you want your business to be successful as a farm business owner for instance into crop farming and you're, you're having fears or concerns about your soil not being fertile and the fertility kind of getting depleted over time then you want to explore black soldier fly farming why because black soldier fly farming involves the use of waste 
that you have already organic waste of various varieties that you literally will pay nothing to get bsf farming involves the use of such waste as food for black sugar fly larva which will then grow and then become food for your uh, animals so you would actually be able to you don't even have to raise animals um, commercially you could even sell it to people who are going to raise animals if you are a crop farmer you know, you have no interest in going to livestock farming but you would be able to then get the byproduct from the back to fly farming process which is the frass which is the equivalent of the NPK fertilizer the, the inorganic fertilizer you will get the organic NPK uh, version of um, the fertilizer and you will then be able to use it to replenish the fertility of your soil the nutrients in your soil this is what many many farmers are doing there are companies that even produce various brands of crop i'm sorry of soil enriching fertilizer today based on black soil fly byproducts they do it they crush the dead flies they they even take the lava sometimes it depends on what the focus of the company is they produce a variety of i understand that there are over 25 all right over 25 different byproducts from the black sugar fly production system but what i am saying is this black sugar fly production itself costs you literally nothing because for those of you that are into crop farming or um livestock farming the waste you have from your processes can be processed can be kind of crushed and mixed up and prepared in a way that it becomes very decent source of nutrition for your black sugar fly larva so you get the eggs hatch the eggs you get the lava feed the lava with your waste you could get the waste from the local market you get the waste from communities you get people to bring waste to you you could get waste from your farm it's up to you but the waste is available then and because it's waste is very likely to cost you little to no money then you feed it to your bsf the bsf produce the frass the frass is what you use then to enrich your soil so because you know that the frass is what you need to enrich your soil you, you can dedicate a section of your farm to intensive bsf lava cultivation and i'm asking what would it take to convince you to do that if you have a farm in today's world with all these costs you have to worry about those of you in my part of the world nigeria you know what i'm talking about you have issues of petrol to deal with you have issues of um high cost of transportation high cost of feed ingredients and all that to deal with then suddenly there's this option where you can even take the bsf itself and even kill the, the larva and crush them and turn them also into um so mix them up with the fertilizer it's up to you but like i said you could sell it to somebody who's a crop farmer because they would probably pay more for it for a livestock farmer and then at the end of the day you would actually be able to get good yields and sustainable yields for that matter from the farm because when you're using inorganic fertilizer one of the things that happens is there's a damage to the structure of the soil so over time that soil is going to die but when you're using organic fertilizer natural fertilizer your, your soil is going to be replenished the structure is going to get better the everything about it is just going to improve so you're going to be able to sustain the yields you get from your farm and i argue that rather than be among these farmers that are complaining and complaining and complaining and waiting for somebody to save them what if you were to develop your own in-house bsf production system that enables you to generate the adequate quantities of organic fertilizer you need to replenish your soil what if you just develop the system in-house and dedicate resources to, to building it up okay to a point where you could even begin to sell what you're producing to other farmers to do the same thing you are doing what if you did that suddenly you no longer have to look outside of yourself to get what you need to run your farm i give this as an example there are a variety of other examples i'm going to give but i think people need to begin to look at the big picture stop waiting for people to come and save you like i said i chose to look inwards and today literally everything look i do my own design i do uh, people say you do too many things i laugh because they have never been able to find me unable to deliver to meet their the, meet the uh, deadlines i agree with them all my clients nobody can complain that i wasn't able to deliver to meet their deadlines so it means i have the competence to do what i'm doing so i didn't overstretch myself therefore you look at what you are capable of doing then look at what helps you to become better able to do what you are say you're going to do and i say get bsf farm production onto your farm it benefits you in multiple ways and most importantly it helps you to keep your farm going for the long term crop farming is not easy and the key to crop farming success is very fertile land and very um how do i put it now easy to maintain land with frass which is the byproduct from black sugar fly farming you can do that 
all you have to do is start the process start producing it and it's such an easy thing to do i hope you do it if you need help you need information there's a lot of resources i have just get across to me and find out how you can join my bsf um, breeding network i think it's important that farmers understand that this is something they have to have on their farm not go and buy from somebody you need to have it on your farm you need to do it yourself and you can integrate it with what you're doing on your farm already it just it just it's just going to blend perfectly with it now let me add this because i probably i didn't say it explicitly so maybe some people might miss this listen if you're a crop farmer and you've been depending on the use of purchase and use of um inorganic fertilizer in other words the fertilizer in bags right it's chemical fertilizer it's synthetic fertilizer it's not healthy for this so i've said that before what i'm saying if you adopt bsf farming and begin to use the frass which is the organic fertilizer generated from bsf farming what is going to happen is that you'll be saving a huge amount of money that you were previously devoting to buying organ inorganic fertilizer the chemical fertilizer you'll be saving yourself that you'll be saving your soil all right and then you'll be able to rechannel that money into other purposes you see so in the long term your profitability will be dramatically increased so there are multiple benefits like i said you can see even the financial aspect of it apart from higher yields that will help you to make more money you actually get to save money because you're going to spend less on keeping your soil fertile think about that there are so many reasons and absolutely no other excuse you can have uh there's no in fact there's no excuse you can have not to embrace bsf farming people in the in temperate climates are using bsf farming we are in the tropics. BSF is endemic here. So, you have no excuse. Like I said, if you need any help, reach out to me using the contact details provided on the screen. I wish you well.